Hey Cancer, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys for what's to come for this week. Um, general on this side and I'm going to do a love reading on this side and we'll just see what's coming up for you guys this week. Alright, so the Five of Swords, alright, feeling defeated, also maybe going through some type of battle, maybe even some type of argument. But the Nine of Pentacles, this is about like focusing on yourself right now, trying not to let this... Um, challenge um get the best of you um don't let it confuse you don't let other people maybe trying to like put stuff in your head or whatever talk some stuff into you to try to make you sway on whatever type of situation um or 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 decision that you're trying to make because you are a little confused right now because you do have a few options and you just don't want to make the wrong one but don't let other people defeat you or try to make you sway your decision the wheel of fortune yeah allow this uh cycle to end this week um this can also mean that you know what i mean um good karma is coming in for you over some type of situation over the way you handled it you got the nine of pentacles and the five of swords okay the four of swords also and the four of pentacles i definitely feel like you are feeling stuck in the situation that you are in um whatever that you're going through it might might be feeling like it's a battle um this can also say that maybe you need to take a break maybe you need to go take a rest or something time off or something uh, maybe you work too much, maybe you do too much, or stress too much, worry too much, whatever the case may be. Um, also, this week, uh, somebody from the past might be coming back. you got the Six of Cups, all right? This can also be talking about nostalgia, like thinking about like old memories and stuff like that. But don't let that keep you stuck either, okay? I feel like somebody keeps on trying to keep you stuck, right? And it's like, or or you're just feeling stuck in some type of situation. Five of Swords always feeling defeated, sad, you know, like like you can never win, right? No matter what you do, you can never win. But this week, the universe with the Nine of Pentacles, you know what I mean? They're saying in the Wheel of Fortune, it's like focus on yourself. Focus on your, um, on you and do what you got to do to find your happiness. And if something ends, something ends, you know what I mean? There's always another new beginning. With the Wheel of Fortune, like, it spins. You never know what it's going to land on. And you can't help by uh, what it lands on. So you just have to kind of just take it and roll with it. Um, so I think that's what the universe is saying. Just allow that wheel to spin and see where it takes you. <laughs> then you have look at the bigger picture, okay? Because, you know, things can get better. It might feel like nothing's ever going to work out for you. But, like, look at the bigger picture, okay? It's time to take action. Hmm. Yeah, because you're feeling stuck. This is Aries, Sagittarius. I don't know if you're dealing with one of those signs, but if you are, there you go. And if not, there's just the energy of the uh, cards. I'm not taking any more, though. I'm doing love. I'm the wrong deck. But it's time to take action on whatever that you've been thinking about doing. Um, whatever the stuckness that you're feeling with the Four of Pentacles, I don't know if you're saving right now, trying to save up some type of money. And then what was the other one? Four of Swords. You're definitely needing some type of rest. Maybe you, need, you could take some time um, to yourself away from others. Like take a bath with like candles or take a walk in nature, go to the beach. But the Six of Cups can be talking about somebody from the past that's coming back. It doesn't have to be an old love. It could be an old friend. It could be whatever. It's somebody from the past is coming back. You have Cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So that might be the stuckness that you're in. Because stuckness doesn't mean that you're stuck in a place or stuck with someone. It can mean that you're stuck in the same mind frame. That you can't stop doing the things that you do. Um, like say like if you drink alcohol, it's like really hard for you to stop or smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. It's not easy to stop, you know what I mean? So it's like replaying, redoing the same old thing over and over and over again. <clears throat> Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Alright, so this week, maybe you guys might be um, getting engaged. Or making some type of commitment, some type of partnership. Um, this is love, but it can also just mean, you know, take it how it resonates for you. Yeah, so this week, just be careful not to keep on replaying or letting old um, things in the past, replaying old memories, okay, to keep on messing you up. That's going to keep you stuck, okay? So try to, like, if you're, let's say if you're in a relationship and somebody was messing up and messing up, right? But now they're trying to do good, but you want to keep on saying, oh, well, you messed up and you messed up, but they're doing good now. It's like, you know what I mean? 
don't do that because then you're going to force somebody to kind of like give up from trying because they're feeling like it's not working. You know what I mean? So it might be something like that. It could be within a job. It could be within family, friends, whatever. You have stabbed in the back. Okay, so maybe this person stabbed you in the back. Heartbroken, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. Okay, so maybe this week, that's what you're replaying in your mind. Okay, so maybe recently somebody did something to you. You found out about it, and now that's all you could think about. You know what I mean? I don't know. But if that did happen to you just recently, then I don't blame you for keep on letting it play in your mind because I will be mad too. Um, wedding rings. So this person, you got engagement ring, engagement ring, wedding rings. I feel like you're engaged to this person, married to this person, committed to this person. You may have been together for years. Maybe you're not married or engaged, but maybe you've just been together forever. You might as well be, right? Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. All right, I feel like you guys are very connected, but I feel like if this person did do something messed up to you, right, and you want to forgive them, you have to forgive them and then kind of just, you know, move on brand new and start from fresh and don't keep on holding something over somebody's head. Don't keep on bringing up the past because if you keep on bringing up the past, that's just going to make things worse and you're never going to be able to move on. You know what I mean? I'm going to see what else comes up in love. Knight of Cups, divinely guided. Oh, the Knight of Cups, divinely guided, right? But then you got the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is like you lost your ambition. You lost your drive. But you're also being divine. Like, what are you being guided? No. No fucking way. Then you got the Knight of Wands and the world. Okay, so you got three knights out of four cards and then the world, which is like the ending of something, but it's also like the beginning of a whole nother start. So maybe you are trying to forgive and forget this person. If not, you're trying to just let this situation go and just move on to your own thing. You take it for however one you want to resonate it with, right? But you have three knights, right? So this person may be younger than you. They may be immature. They may be just like, you know what I mean? Somebody who just likes to like fly off the handle really easily. Like not, like don't think before they speak. All right. Wow. Okay. The hair scent. Hmm. The three of cups. Yeah. Maybe they did have, um, talk to somebody else. I feel like the hair fan, the ace of wands, I feel like, you know, something new needs to start. I feel like, you know, Maybe somebody's coming from the past and maybe you know about that, okay? Maybe you feel that internally, like, you know, um, intuitively, let me say. <laughs> if not, it's just saying that maybe you know what went on. Maybe they didn't fully tell you, but maybe you just knew that they had started this new love behind your back, right? And you found out about it. Or it's just like you know that you just need a new start and let this end. That's why I kept on saying let this Wheel of Fortune end. You guys take it for however um, you want to... However, it resonates for you guys. But, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy my content. If you do, please like and subscribe. Let me know. And thank you. Bye-bye.